Boats will play it. Hagen <laughs> on the back for Dunn. Dunn pulled down only five metres out from the Cronulla line. Kick ahead from the big front row and he's in to score. <laughs> they made it look easy. Peter Tunks. That's Peter Tunks, the Canterbury captain, coming up with a little grubber kick. But it didn't look all that dangerous, except that it uh, went exactly where he wanted it to. And ricocheted off the leg of the replacement player. He carried the ball over the line, but at no double movement because uh, he wasn't the held, he wasn't tackled in any way. He does grab the ball in the field of play and just dive over with it. No advancing of the arm. So that's a good try. It's going to be a six-pointer too, I would think, because of the fact that it's been scored fairly adjacent. Here's a little grubber off the right hand of the right boot. And there he goes, scoring a very good try, very neat try. He's done very well today, has Peter Tanks. About four or five occasions I've been counting, uh, I usually do with forwards. The number of times he's been able to get a pass away, some of them have been ill-directed, one of them went on the ground, but the passes in general have been able to keep the play going. And that's what we want. Dunn and he have been good at that today. Another Canterbury change, Bill? Yes, Mark Bugden in 14's replaced Joe Thomas. OK. There's Joe Thomas. He scored a couple of tries in a very solid game. And Terry Lamb has one from three. And the, uh, a lot of questions were asked about this Cronulla side prior to the game. I think they'll be continued to ask as well. Lamb puts it between the sticks. So the Bulldogs take a real strong grip on this football game. 20 points to four.